Rainy River. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Many Canadians have a connection with Ukraine. First and foremost, there's a lot of new immigrants from the Ukraine in Canada. And first and foremost, my thoughts are with them who have immediate family and friends in the Ukraine. I can certainly imagine what it's like for them every time they hear the phone ring, wondering who's calling and about what. But there are many, many other Canadians like myself. I spent the first number of years of my life um, living with my parents and grandparents in a part of Fort William, which is now Thunder Bay, which has a large Ukrainian-Canadian population. My Baba was from near Horodenka, my Guido grandfather was from near Kamenets Podolsky. I spent many summer evenings as a child sitting with my Baba on the, on the steps of her corner store, which actually wasn't on the corner, um, and, and partly because Baba used to brazenly bribe me with fudgicles and, and, and creamsicles from the store in order to get me to sit with her, but she would sit for hours singing old Ukrainian hymns and, and telling stories about what used to happen in the old country. That was in between coming and going from the store and selling people cigarettes and candy. Now, because so many of my early memories revolve around um, the Ukraine and, and, and Ukrainians, even though I don't speak Ukrainian, even though I've only visited Ukraine once in my life, I feel very much that Ukraine is part of my soul. Now, of course, you don't have to be Ukrainian in order to sympathize with what's happening in the Ukraine or with Ukrainians. Um, we all see the pictures, but the pictures are only a very small part of what's happening in the Ukraine. Now, certainly, we have statistics, contested statistics about number of deaths, number of injuries. Um, but let's remember what, what uh, Joseph Stalin once said, which is, a million deaths is a tragedy, or a million deaths is a statistic, one death is a tragedy. And certainly, for each statistic, every death is a tragedy. It means a phone call to a parent telling them that a child will not be coming home or a child who won't have their parent coming home as they told them they would. All of this tragedy is the direct and total responsibility of Vladimir Putin and the people who support Vladimir Putin. It is Vladimir Putin who decided to walk in the steps of Joseph Stalin. Ukrainians and Russians are, in fact, brothers and sisters. But this is brother killing brother. The only brother that kills his brother is a madman like Putin. But let's not forget in this immense human tragedy worthy of Dostoevsky, the suffering of many Russians as well, many of whom who are dying fighting their brothers and sisters in the Ukraine. Let us not also forget about the mothers and fathers of Russian soldiers who are anxiously awaiting their return from the Ukraine. Now, as a doctor who certainly dealt with death and has worked in places where I saw a lot of trauma, including close to war zones, I can absolutely tell you that the suffering of a parent losing a child or the suffering of a child losing a parent is exactly the same. It doesn't matter whether you're from Ethiopia or Haiti, from Thunder Bay, Ottawa, or from Ukraine or Russia. Now, Mr. Speaker, in my allotted time, I could have talked about more lofty issues, the fact that how this invasion presents an existential threat to the international legal order, which it certainly does, and how that international legal order grew in no small part out of the Second World War, and um, the fact that in, in so many ways the UN Charter and the international legal order was the result of the Second World War and the sacrifices so many Russians and Ukrainians made in that war. I also don't have time too much to talk about what we can and can't do other than to repeat what a number of people in our party have said, which is that all options remain on the table. To my family in the Ukraine, some of whom I know as I speak are waiting with guns for the Russians to come, for their parents who are worried and praying for them, for the people of the Ukraine, for the very many good Russian people, let me tell you, I support you, my family supports you, the Canadian people support you, indeed, good people all around the world support you, and certainly this parliament supports you. <clears throat> Slava Ukraine! Comments, kiss, come on.